Hey guys, welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. What is going on guys? Hope everyone's having a super awesome day. Here's what I am doing right now. I decided that I would pick a couple different science experiments to try and like have fun with and see what we think of them. Um, some of these science experiments might be a little bit dangerous, so if you are under age or if you if your parents do not like you to mess with lighters or anything like that, then I would recommend you guys do not do any of these science experiments. And if you do, please have an adult with you. And with that said, let's have fun with this video. And fingers crossed, I don't bring down my apartment. Ding! <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be doing like three or four science experiments. And as we progress, science experiments get a little bit more dangerous. But what we're starting with is probably something that everyone can do because it's really not dangerous whatsoever, I've heard. And what we are doing first is we got these ivory soaps. And I heard that ivory soap, when you put it in a microwave, it like expands like a cloud. And you can basically touch it and hold it and all that weird stuff. And what I was reading is that no one really knows why like why it does that, but that it's not dangerous, completely safe for kids to do. Let's go put this bar of soap, I'm gonna unwrap it completely. Let's go put this bar of soap in the microwave for a minute or so and see what happens. I got the GoPro right here, and I'm gonna use this to film what happens. So let's go ahead and go over to the uh, microwave and see how this goes. I got my ivory soap right here. I'll put it in the microwave, like that. Seems pretty good, right? Hopefully we can see in there once I get it started. I'm gonna just put it on for like a minute and 15 seconds and see what happens. Wait! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanna see what happens. I gotta get my handy dandy stool. And start. Can you guys see? I hope you guys can see. <gasps> I wonder if I should have put it on something. Oh my god, it's working! <gasps> It's working! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh! Oh gosh! Okay, well. Wow! Oh my god, it's deflating! Ooh, it's hot. Nope, it's hot. Oh, I should have. I should have done a couple different things. Oh my gosh. I should have, one, I should have put it like on something. And I should have not had this rotating. And two, oh my gosh, do you guys see this? The soap feels like, it feels like a paper towel now. All right, I am doing it again. This time, I'm go I am turning the turntable off. And I'm going to put it in for another minute. Start. I put it on a plate as well. No turntable. You guys see it from here? I mean, you probably can see me too, but... Hopefully this angle actually gives you a good look. Wow. I feel like I could have gone longer with it. Oh, look, it immediately deflates after I bring it out. Wow, this is so cool. The fact that this was just so harmless and cool is how amazing this is. Like, you can see that you can touch it and play with it. It's a little hot, but it's not that hot. And it just kind of feels like, like paper, like, like a paper towel that's shredding apart almost. It smells really good. Ooh, there's the middle part of it. That is so weird. And then you could just basically get rid of it. This is the part that didn't melt. So for this next one, um, all you guys need to do this one, which I'm not sure, like I said, if you're going to do this one, make sure you guys have an adult, because it does involve like a little bit of like fire. But okay, what you need is you need sand, which I have um, this fine white sand that I got from Michael's. And you can use regular sand, though. You need a little bit of lighter fluid, baking soda, sugar, and a lighter. So let me tell you guys what we got to do here first, okay? So we have two teaspoons of baking soda, and we're going to mix that with eight teaspoons of sugar. I don't know why. And uh, we're going to mix these together. Now, just so you guys know, I've never done this science experiment. I do have a bowl of water next to me, just in case I need to like put out a fire or something for whatever reason. What I'm going to do is I am going to put the sand in a frying pan uh, in hopes that that will help contain whatever I might do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put lighter fluid on this. Next, we are going to pour the baking soda and sugar on top. And then we are going to light it on fire. So. I'm gonna use this. Oh my gosh. 
That didn't work. All it did was just burst a big flame. Okay, take two. Ugh, son of a gun. Okay, it was supposed to be way cooler than that, guys. It was supposed to, like a snake. Take three. It's supposed to be so much cooler than this, guys. This was supposed to be so much cooler, guys. It was supposed to like, like a snake. You know like those uh, fireworks that you light and they like a little snake? That's what this was supposed to do, basically. It was supposed to like, all supposed to interact more and it was gonna get way cooler, but that definitely did not work, unfortunately. All right, well, I'm just gonna count that as a no-no. I'm doing two different things for this last one. Technically, I guess I have two more things. I heard you could light hand sanitizer on fire. So, like so. Oh, snaps! Do you guys see it? You guys can't see it, can you? You guys can't see the fire, cause it's like a really light blue fire. Oh, just like that, it was out. Oh, okay, you can touch it. it scared the crap out of me, but I can touch it. Bam, just like that, it's out like a light. Like if you ever needed to light a fire, you could use your hand sanitizer. <sighs> there, just like that, it's out. That was really cool actually, super simple, nothing too crazy. Careful if you do it though, obviously I'm not held responsible then if you do it. This last thing, this last thing that I'm doing, it's actually something that I did when I was younger. It, it was very dangerous and I'm surprised that we didn't burn down a house doing it. But what we did was we got a piece of 100% cotton thread and what we did when I was younger was we used to coat it in nail polish remover and then we would light it on fire and you were able to hold it. Which is really scary actually when you think about it. But with this one, one called for was you put it with lighter fluid. Like I said, please do not try this at home. That'll be absolutely horrible. This isn't a good idea, is it? I just literally coated that in lighter fluid. Do I stay or do I go? I don't feel safe doing it. <gasps> oh my god. Never do that at home. That was a horrible idea. I cannot believe I did that. Never, never try that. That was horrible. That only lasted like 10 seconds, but I was so scared. I can't believe I used to do that when I was younger. That is so dangerous. Never, never, ever, 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 ever do that. That was so dangerous. I cannot believe I just did that. That's not going to go in the video, is it? I'm like so mad at myself right now. I cannot believe that I did that. I can't even tell my mom. She'll be so mad at me. Like I said, please never, ever, please never do that. That was so horribly dangerous. I regret completely doing it. I'm so glad that I did not actually like do something horrible and I did not actually actually accidentally like burn down my apartment or something. Um, I'm so glad that that did not happen. Please, please, please never do that again. Do not ever cut, coat anything in lighter fluid and light it on fire. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video with that. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Although, like I said, guys, the first three were not that bad. They really weren't that dangerous. Those were fun ones. Just don't do the last one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.